Good morning. Nana, what? You talking about your Nana? Uh -huh. Nana's in heaven? Can you say good morning, friends? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, is that your bunny? <laughs> Are you going to wrestle him? <laughs> hold on my hand, hold my hand. Uh, that's not what you're holding my hand for. We're not doing that. There you go. <laughs> you're so silly. You know if you hold his ears, it's going to make you stable. Yeah, like that. Now jump. Oh, hold it. Okay, go hold my hand. Okay, you go hold my hand and jump. You are so silly. How I'm starting my morning off. Um, Liza Adele on her YouTube channel is always talking about the Trader Joe's cold brew. I think she gets the coconut one. But I wasn't sure if I wanted, I wasn't sure if it like tasted coconutty or what, but I it's not really, I don't want my coffee to taste coconutty. If it does, I might just try it to try it. But so I've been trying this and it's so good. Last night I needed some little boost of energy to film and edit. So I used this and then my silk cashew milk. And then I used like almond drizzle, like, um, not almond drizzle. Jackson's screaming. It's getting me distracted. I used a caramel drizzle that's like for ice creams. But today I'm going to just actually use this um, part of this almond milk creamer that is caramel. Caramel flavor as well. Cold brew is like super concentrated. So that's literally all I'm putting in. And the rest will be some of this and cashew milk. We got him this book off Amazon. We get him a lot of books off Amazon that are super cheap this one was like freaking five bucks it was really cheap and it's just a flat book he loves it he's been reading it all day i read it to him we find the stuff together um it's just really cool and he's doing really well with these thinner flaps he has some other books that have very thick flaps but he's been treating these really well so he loves this book it's huge I know. Oh, okay. His slipper fell off. What on earth did you get on your slipper? He is how he is like wanting to wear these all the time. He got something on it. That's why he was screaming. He doesn't like when his stuff gets dirty. Baby, you don't like this sorbet stuff. Here. Taste the sauce that's on the spoon. No, you don't like it, but you're not gonna just keep dipping nothing. <laughs> he wants to just keep <laughs> dipping nothing out of my sorbet cup. <laughs> He'll dip spoons in there, but won't take anything. <laughs> it's all gone. All gone. I, I ate that, yeah. Oh. Let's see if this works. See? There's the cup. You mixing? That's all he wanted to do to my sorbet cup. And then he'll go like drag it on the floor and bring it back with dog hair. And that's what he does to my food all the time that he doesn't want to eat. So there's your cup. What are you doing? Oh, thank you. That's for the doggies water bowls. Okay, thanks. Can you go put your right chair back? <laughs> oh my gosh. He moves everything around. He like rearranges all the furniture. Put this back here. Maybe he will be able to get it. That's why I blocked the bookshelf because he's playing all my cookbooks down. Let's see. Is that a good solution? Okay, he gave up. Cool. I was wrong. He got it out again. I'm going to give him these to play with on the fridge. I 
got those at Target in the dollar spot. He loves them, but I don't keep them on the fridge all the time. So he, he's just like, I pull them out. So like each time he feels like it's something special to like, take out to play with. So he doesn't get bored of them fast. What is that? A star? Is that the oval? Is that watermarks on my fridge? <laughs> Is that funny? So I'm making banana sushi. I'm going to put some of these chia seeds on top of the bananas. I've been doing that. It's a really good way to get in some extra fiber and omega-3s. So I just spread this all over a whole wheat tortilla. Did I say that funny? Whole wheat. Wheat. Did I even say wheat? I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, did I say that right? Thanks, Fibro Fog. Anyways, um, and then I wrap the banana. I'll show you guys just the chia seeds first. This is how much I put. They don't need some like heaping amount. Um, like I think the adult serving is two tablespoons, so a toddler doesn't need a heaping amount um, throughout the day. But anyways, now I'm gonna do the banana. I'll show you how I do that. So just roll the banana like that. So I always cut the two ends off and give them to the dogs. And then this is basic. Lord have mercy. This is. <laughs> you really want this. You cannot walk around with peanut butter. Let me see. I swear to you guys, he's not starving. Two hours ago, he had a bunch of peas, like green peas and crackers and this on top of his breakfast and another snack so it's only like 12 47 in the afternoon anyways so you do this it looks like sushi if you have a toddler like jackson jackson just got two more teeth so no he has a grand total of six i'm going to show you guys how i cut it so i quarter it like this Oh, you decided to move your high chair back. <laughs> I quarter it like this. Oh my goodness. Are you growing? Here, open up. Mommy does it because there's peanut butter on it. Amber smells peanut butter and bananas. So now she's going to start barking. Anyways, that's banana sushi. <gasps> you weren't even eating those pieces. You were sneaking them to Ralph and Amber. I thought he was just starving with that screaming, you guys. He was sneaking off and taking the food out of his mouth and giving it to his puppies. Excuse that mess we're cleaning. <laughs> well, I was cleaning and then I stopped to feed him. <laughs> oh my goodness. You are too funny. Oh no, you're about to be in your high chair, so you either eat it. I'm not even gonna give you the whole thing. I thought you were starving. You weren't, trickster. <laughs> his vacuum cleaner is like dying in the background. <laughs> so this is his banana sushi cut up. It's about half of it. I put the other half in the fridge since I wanna see how much he eats. And if he's full, then I'm gonna take it tonight when we have to go to Ikea. Um, for him to eat and then this is pineapple strawberries these little oranges he's obsessed with them um, these pieces of fruit are bigger pieces than this because really he sucks everything out of these and doesn't actually try to s he's throwing spoons over the gate now try to eat the whole thing <laughs> so um, I couldn't get him to eat strawberries for the longest time so what I did is I started cutting them up when I first got them and by that evening they had kind of started breaking down in their own sugars so they weren't as bitter I guess to him and usually over two or three days he will eat a ton of strawberries that way um oh yeah this I like doing this I, I give him peanut butter and jelly sometimes but I prefer goodness gracious I prefer this over peanut butter and jelly because while this is a lot of natural sugar, jelly has a lot of artificial sugars. So um, he usually eats a lot of fruit and he does eat vegetables, but he loves his fruit. Is that good? Too much in your mouth? Yeah. 
Oh, you want your water? You see it? Is that what you're pointing at? Let me see. Are you done with that? The pulp? <laughs> Thank you. That's, um, can't tell if that, that was a pineapple. Yep. Whoa. You dropping your booty? What about this move? Can I see your hand move you do? No, we're just doing the booty drop. <laughs> You're so silly. Round and round. Oh, wow. Careful. And some vinyl. Y'all please ignore the vacuum cleaner, toy vacuum cleaner running in the background and the dirty diaper that I just changed his pee pee diaper on the couch and I put it there and then I was like, oh, should I go throw it out or should I vlog first? And I chose vlog first. So I am so gross. I need to go shower um, in a little bit and uh, we're going to go to Ikea tonight. Jackson is not wanting to sleep today. Um, he is so grumpy and I can't decide if it's a leap or teething. And I realized probably when he was around nine months that his, like the Wonder Weeks app doesn't always line up with him. His leaps are always ahead so I have to like skip ahead to like leaps, if that makes sense. Whenever I line up the leaps with his actual age, it's always behind. Like he's always like been doing that stuff, if that makes sense. So sometimes his like stormy stuff doesn't actually line up. So it's just like, I have no idea what leap he's going through. Um, <clears throat> I can't depend on the Wonder Weeks app. <laughs> sometimes I go and I have to skip through like two leaps to get to where he is. Like, for instance, okay, um, yesterday he started jumping and I didn't, I, I caught some snaps of it today and I put it on Instagram, but when I say jumping, like he's been jumping, like holding onto his crib and jumping on his mattress since he was about seven months old. And that's why we got him a trampoline. He jumps on the trampoline we noticed that yesterday he was dancing and then he stopped and he would jump and hop from a standing position, both feet leaving the ground and hop forward. For those of you that like have never like worked with toddlers or pay attention to developmental milestones, that is a two to three year old milestone. Jackson just turned 14 months old. So as you can see, when I say like things don't always line up for him, they really like they just don't like, I don't know. I was just sat there and I was watching him do it today and I knew he did it yesterday. And I'm just like, I feel like this is really early because for a few months now, he's been jumping from things like leaping off and jumping off, but always holding on to something as he does it. And I knew that that came before like jumping. But as you can see, both his feet leave the ground at the same time. That kind of coordination, because it requires coordinating both sides of the body, doesn't come to like two, age two to three, around two and a half, I think. My friend Chelsea agreed it was around two and a half. Like she said too, she thinks that was around two and a half. She worked with kids too. And I'm just like, <laughs> so 
That's what I mean when I say like his leaps don't line up with the Wonder Weeks app usually at all anymore. So I don't know, teething, leap, whatever reason, he's not sleeping. Jackson, hold on to something. Oh my God. You'll see he doesn't even want to hold on to the bar anymore and the trampoline to hop. Oh, don't say, oh my God. No, you shouldn't say that. <laughs> chill. Little Kia. We're literally buying the same frame we already have. We got a king mattress I'm going to be reviewing and it's by the same company that I bought Jackson's mattress from. But it's king because we wanted to upgrade anyway. And I'm getting the same frame because this frame, I really like how tall it is. But also for my fibromyalgia, if I'm in a lot of pain, I can pull myself up easy compared to like a flat headboard. And it's very sturdy. Somebody trying to leave their kids in Ikea. <laughs> um, okay, this bed frame, another thing I like about it is the storage underneath. It's high up compared to their bed frames. The other ones, um, it's got lots of storage space. You can just cover with a bed skirt. I don't know where Justin's going. Go through. This is so nice. They put these cut throughs now on Ikea. Somebody is not happy, poor baby. That makes me sad. Let's look at this little table. Oh, we're not even, we gotta go through one more set of doors. We'll just go to the kitty land. So can we not Hansel and Gretel our way through Ikea, son? He keeps dropping little trails like Hansel and Gretel, except mommy has to clean them up. Cause I don't want to be that person that leaves puffs all over the store. Say that's rude. Where is it? I really like that one because it's got like built-in sensory stuff, but it costs more. I don't know how much more. You see it with the white slats? See, like lift the slats. See, it's got like built-in sensory stuff or stuff for Legos. But that's like double the price. It doesn't include the bins, does it? They could probably upgrade to that when he's bigger. Look at this like drafting table for kids, except like you put a roll of paper and let them color. Oh, I'm, I'm zoomed in. <laughs> Do you see this? It's so cool. You put their like roll of paper there. You might need that balance beam for gymnastics at home. Here, this one. What do you think? Jackson, look, come sit. Come sit. He's gonna run. Come here, look, come sit in the chair. He's looking for snacks in my back. <laughs> He's like, oh, here, come sit in the chair. Have a seat. It's taller than your other one. Do it backwards. Do you like that? Okay. That wasn't very helpful. He's looking for snacks. Your puffs are right here. What if I put your puffs on the table? Then what? Yeah, it's a little tall for him. But I can put him at it. He can get out of it. Watch. Now he's not gonna do it. See, he gets out of it fine. That's a big rocking horse. Your dino's not that big. All done? Okay, yeah, that was kind of tall, so it makes me nervous. Toddler running loose in Ikea. What is this? Ah! Ooh, I can't do the trunk noise. Yeah. He was just saying elephant though. And then I turn it on. He's like, no. Elephant? Jackson elephant? Huh? The pig? What's a pig do? That's a hard one. That's a shark. Like, isn't it Shark Week? Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it. 
<laughs> Should be my thing. Baby attacked by giant shark. But he won't sit still. Okay. okay. <laughs> Should be my thumbnail. Jackson! <laughs> you got a pig? Oh, he's like, we're buying the pig. We're, we're getting the pig, okay. Did you find a play kitchen? This is like the perfect play kitchen for him because of the doors. They swing like a real cabinet. It's very tall. Oh, I see it's very tall and he reaches for it. Got it? No, he's not quite. Not quite. <gasps> they still haven't got their kids? They still have not got their kids 15 minutes later. I bet they left. They dropped their kids at what they think is the Ikea daycare and they left. <laughs> Am I going to have to bleep out her name? Probably. <laughs> I won't throw, <laughs> won't throw that much shade on YouTube, but not a daycare, people. Careful, baby. He's eating his leftover um, banana sushi and I got a Mediterranean wrap. I'll show you all in a minute. Hey. You said dead out with the water? Do you want some of your water? Here's what I got. It's their veggie Mediterranean wrap. Looks really good. They got a lot more vegetarian options now. Nice. Can mommy have a baby? He's not going to say it now. Is it I am a baby? <laughs> he said, can I have a baby? Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Um, yeah. <laughs> you are the baby for a long time. Well, not a long time, but for a while. Um, oh, no. That's our king headboard. Jackson was so confused as to why he could hear my voice. And he knew daddy was in the car. But I'm not back here with him. Look how sweet he is. I just realized I haven't removed this. <laughs> I should remove that. Um, I forgot to end the vlog. So I just wanted to say bye. But I wanted to show you how cute he looks sleeping. I mean, come on. So sweet. <laughs>